Alright. Guess we'll find out if it's working. It feels so weird in here, it feels so echoey. Maybe. Maybe we'll find out. literally just checking on my phone if I'm live. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I am live. I see. I see. Oh. Cool. Good morning. Hey, Keen. Gonna look at our brothers. Hey, Kex. Hey, Comfy Cat. Good morning, Jerk. So, um, probably looks similar to you guys. I'm in an entirely new spot, driven from Illinois to I uh, to Iowa. I'm in a rented office at the moment. So, I'm pretty fucking unexcited about the whole thing, but... Do what we gotta do, I guess. I'm receipt hunting. Yeah, Ingemar, I think, um... I think there's been a number of thoughts about it. I kind of meant more along the lines of, shall we try... C We're gonna try CK3 at some point, there's no question about that. I kind of meant, should we try it today? Dress for business. Uh, I have a red shirt. I have a red sweatshirt on because it's freezing freaking cold here. It's been in the 50s the last two days for no reason. 50s and raining. It was like 100. Maybe like a week before. So. Good morning, Weighty Pants Balch. It's a good name. It's not an office name necessarily, but it's a good name. A Poland in CK3. Hey, Rise you say? Green tested. Yeah, I'm done for the day. I'm just, just turning it on, turning it off kind of deal. I am kind of curious. Does it sound different? Does it look different? Can you guys even tell? If I told you I was on Mars right now streaming, would you believe me? This is probably the first day in, uh, I don't know, 10 years maybe? 9 years? 7 years? Somewhere around there where I've had to commute to work. It made me really grumpy. Really grumpy. Can't tell at all. Hmm. My in-laws finally kicked me out. No. No. But, uh, that was only ever supposed to be temporary. And the fact that I was there as long as I was was kind of crazy. It was actually a pretty nice spot to stream from, but there was no work-life balance at all. My wife wasn't around. It's just like... I'm, it's kind of a weird setup, too. Like, my in-laws were tend to be, uh, they do, like, retire to their rooms after dinner kind of thing. So I'd, like, meet them for dinner at, like, 7. Get up, stream from, get up at like 8, stream at 9, finish streaming at 7 p.m., go eat with them. And they'd be like, done dinner, retired to their like bedroom area at like 8.30. And I'd be like, huh, okay, a little early for me. A little worried about all the public spaces in the house, kind of being like interrupting their stuff. So, like, go back to the, go back to the basement with the computer kind of deal, so... Nice, CK3 is good. I mean, we could just do that today. I don't really mind. Kind of, um... I either want to start a Gladiator start today, but I'm feeling super discombobulated, just kind of, like, out of it. It's so weird. I don't like this room. I don't like streaming here. 
I don't like not being in my house. I don't like paying for two fucking offices. It's bullshit. So we'll see. Mediacom, uh, continue to be Mediacom. I have no idea when I'll get internet. It's been since the 11th of September, or August rather, so almost a month. So. Yeah, I mean, I can just put it to vote if you guys want. We can sit that on the screen as I seed hunt a little bit this morning. So, um. You guys can let me know. I mean, I like the idea of CK3. It's like, um, I like the Dynasty stuff, kind of. Maybe a break from Battle Brothers would be good. Last stream was rough. Last stream was a little bit rough. Well, let me know. Say something in chat. Quitters never win. Hey, Zero Bar, huh? I'm just here because the doctor said my sodium levels are getting low. Yeah. Yeah, I provide all sorts of essential uh, nutrients, including sodium, yeah. Thanks to the resub, Lemma Von Vorn. Look back. What's the vote? I guess I could move it to a. Clear location. Wow. Okay. An aggressive amount of voting for uh, CK. I'm kind of kind of surprised. Generally, when I'm streaming one game, votes to play a different game are super low. It must be good, man. I'm, I'm interested in checking it out. I think it's installed. I don't think um, I don't think I have a scene set up for it. But that's not hard to do. You can do that on the fly. Finding a spot for my camera. Probably the center of the screen, I imagine. Like at maybe full size, like one to one size. My head is probably, I don't know. Yeah. One is CK3, yes, yes. Um, Crusader Kings 3. No option for Civ 5. I told you, there's, um, you guys ever done like eBay bids? There's like a hidden reserve. You guys familiar with that term? There's a hidden reserve for Civilization V. When we trigger that reserve, then you get it. But until then, it's still a bidding war. So, uh, maybe the opening bid will be a million dollars. Interesting, Kalantar. Kalantlar. How are we? Pretty close. Hey, Swag. Yeah, man. How's, uh, how's Crowfall these days, Swag? Kinda getting mixed messages. I'm on a giant TV in the living room. Ah, uh, nice! Love to see the Hades shield run. I had a lot of fun with Hades. I haven't played it in a couple weeks, though. So. More than that now. A couple months. Take care, Bear. Bit of Necromunda. Is that released yet? It's on our to-do list when it gets released. I really liked the first game, even if it was buggy as shit. Hopefully the next release of that's going to be amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm all for taking a little big break from Battle Brothers, even if it's just like a day. As I said, I'm feeling so out of it. No more chill streams with drinks. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think there's there's definitely not a no alcohol policy in this office. The um the fridge in the common room has a bunch of beers in it, so presumably someone's drinking in here. So 
Boss fights are still good, but... I don't know what CW is saying. Everyone is zerging. Yeah, I saw the fights were getting big. And the performance didn't look great. I'm a little worried about it. But... Ooh, Necromunda is in release stages right now? I didn't even realize it was in release stages. No shit. Why don't I have a key then? I gotta talk to Tom about that. The first one was extremely buggy. I was really hoping they'd get their act together for the second one. Oh man. So, this is a trial period at this office. I've got till technically Monday, but if I do it then, I can't stream the weekend. So real realistically, I have till Friday to decide if I want to keep this office or wait. Mediacom is doing their normal shit where I have no idea when anything will ever be fixed or if it will work properly. So, it's very likely that I'm here for at least a month in the office. We'll see. Rashy and buggy. Is it the same? It's um, it's 40k. And I can't even remember exactly how the game went now. It's like turn-based. Kind of a, it was kind of a very unique game, wasn't it? Are the big fights fun, Swag? I, I wasn't. I wasn't finding them that fun a couple patches ago, right? Where we were just like either steamrolling everybody or just being like attritioned, kind of. Not like, not even attrition through deaths, but like attrition through time. Am I a full time streamer? Yep, that's my job. I think I can stream 24 days in a row, 10 hours a day, while not being a full time streamer. So I'm either full time unemployed streaming or I'm full time streamer. All right, chat, how are you guys on voting? Pretty close, though. I see Swag. Unfortunate. Okay. All right, chat, what are we doing? What are we doing? CK, Battle Brothers. Can we at least fire up CK and see what it's like? Gotta love the mech sizes I'm seeing here. Poor guy. Returned. Welcome back, man. I keep expecting like someone to walk by and be like, can you keep it down in there a little bit? The rest of us are trying to work in this office. Get alt f 4 while losing brothers. Do I, do, I, do I run with no alt f 4s at all? See how it feels. Five years. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think, um, how did you tell how long you've been sub for? What's the command? Because I think it tells me how long I've been sub for. I think it's as long as I've had subs. You have returned. Is it a WeWork type space? I have, I don't know what that means, Care Bear. I think the company is, um, I don't know if I want to say. Obsession. On the Exile and Ashen both resubbing. Cheers, guys. No, I didn't. I didn't check out the New World Stress Test, although I tuned in to, I think, Nagoti playing a little bit of that, um, just to see what it was like. Thanks, Inside Man. Is it Follow Sense? And there's... Oh, I... Do I have a sub channel? Let's check. Alright, if I... S hey, thanks for the gifted sub, Zangamar. Here's man. Another poor fool. If I hover that, six months space. subscriber. 73 months. Yeah, it's been a while. Pretty sure I don't follow my own channel, too. Let's find out. Yeah. K3 is the best Paradox game I've played at launch. Yep, okay. Yep, could be good. Could be good for that. Alright, chat, what are we doing? I need, I need like, a definitive vote, and you guys are being more and more and more... Less and less definitive, I suppose, is the way to put it this. 
Should I text my wife? I think she's mid-class. I was gonna say I could text my wife and tell her vote one or two. Aqua's been subbed to me for half of his life at this stage. I haven't seen Aqua on channel in a while. All right. So, fire up CK3, have a look. Ah, good talk. Good talk. All right, it'll give us something to do this morning as I test stream this shit, see? All right, let's, let me get that set up. Yeah. Democracy, democracy is for fools. Okay. Quitters never win. Thank you, Smitsky. Passed my dual study yesterday. I think without your Civ 5 content on YouTube, I wouldn't be able to be this motivated while this pandemic. So thank you very much, Mr. Robot. <laughs> Mr. Robot always gets me. Ah, uh, cheers, man. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad the content's been good for you. All right, let me just see. I know you guys are just seeing black screen right now. I'm checking out uh, streaming black screen. If it's going well or not, let me know if it's uh. If it's working. Quitters never win. Vessel banker. Thanks, man. How was the office set up decent size? Yeah. That one's Iowa. Space is cheap. All right. Let me get a game capture of this going. Loud. I'll get that in a second, sorry. What do you think? Can they make that a little louder to start with? I actually want to feel like I have been time traveling. Or at a renaissance fair directly, maybe? I'm not sure. Good music. Turn off the nudity. I have to turn off nudity? Like, is that a thing I have to do? Is there really a nudity setting that I have to turn off? Huh. Can we just, as a society, agree, or groups of societies agree that we can put some nudity on Twitch? Barriers can be full nude. See, that seems great. Yeah, this seems important. I need whatever 2048 shadows by 2048 shadows means. Game setting option when I start. Would you like to play a full nude game? Yes. Full nudity. All the time. Lady boobs are a thing, even clipping through armor. I'm not supposed to linger on it. <laughs> yeah, you, if you want your nudity, you gotta be fast and hard. All right, I got you, sure. All right, am I reading tooltips? I have to read tooltips this way. Strongly recommend you play the tutorial. Play the tutorial. Yeah. You are a medieval ruler. Land is yours for the taking. 
Through clever marriage and diplomacy. Or by the way of the boobs. Oh, sword. There's no one way to win in Crusader Kings. Only different ways to enjoy the story that unfolds. Home key brings me to capital. Bring me to capital. Instant replay is now off. I realize I had re instant replay on. Yeah? Uh... I don't know, chat. I don't know if I'm feeling this this morning. I might just be teasing. Okay. Crusader King spans over hundreds of years and many generations right now. Time is standing still because the game is paused. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. You continue. Place your cursor. Hover over to the highlighted phrase inside of that. Wait, how do I do this? Something we're just gonna... How do I get it to stay? Not gonna be the convenient system. Maybe cursor into this tooltip. I mean, I like the nested tooltips. They do this in Old World too, or New World rather. Tip Inception is the greatest thing ever. Alright, let's talk about the game. Everything takes place on the map before you. The world consists of large and small pieces of land, each belonging to someone based on their titles. Your titles are represented by icons with elaborate coats of arms. Elaborate coat of arms? Would it be coats of arms? The icon representing your realm. This isn't coat of arms, like the noun. The icon representing your realm is set by your primary title, which is the most important and prestigious title you hold. Gimp, I assume is uh, our title. Gimp of the realm. If you click your character portrait highlighted in the character view, the borders of your realm capital will light up. A character portrait highlighted in the character view. Quick. Okay. My realm capital will light up. Alright. Munster is your primary title. Munster is a title? What is a Munster? My realm my realm is named after Munster, but it's not Munster. It's called All right, I'm just going to take their word for that one. We're going to move to the next tooltip. All right. As a ruler, you can only hold so much land on your own. You often have other rulers helping with the administration of the realm by holding lands, making them your vassals. Find your own land, your domain. Press the home key. I got to unbind that from other settings. Hold on. I'm going to have to just rebind this. I understand, maybe. Alright, you're playing as one of the many characters in this world, represented by your character avatar, which is blocked by my fucking mic. You will need to make sure your dynasty survives and thrives. Your titles give you power. Continue, click on my character. Yeah! Alright, characters have skills. Some are great talkers, some are better fighters. Your main skills are diplomacy, martial, stewardship, intrigue, and learning. Are they? Corresponding lifestyle. Oh, but how do I get it to stay? Weirdly slow hover. Dread gain. I didn't play a lot of CK2. Yeah, I may have to do that, Kex. We'll see. Learning. Terrible. Alright, um... There'd be more hinges in this. Might be better. You guys still hear me okay, or am I get, did I get a little quiet doing that? 
try that. Okay. All right, traits. Temperate. I'd like to be dreadfully temperate. Stewardship plus two. Don't move. Don't. No. Oh my god. All right, I need the. Okay, that's this. We gotta do this now. It has to happen. Okay. Options. Where are my options? Open, load game, sold game, switch character, exit game, settings. It's so weird. Like, this is so weird. This looks like, you know, like you go to a website and you're like looking for like FAQ or like help or like contact them. And like, here's all the things their website represents. It's like, you know, let's say it's a restaurant, right? It's like menu maybe. And this is like entrees, appetizers, hours of operation or something. And then down here you have like the contact us FAQ. Why are my settings down there? This looks like shit that I'm supposed to ignore. Iron Man disabled. All right, let's go to settings. So where do I find this, this tooltip hovering that you guys are talking about? Tooltip mode, timer lock. Do I need this low? You guys told me there's one I could do with Maybe it's uh, action lock. Yeah. Action lock. Done. Done. And maybe it could be fine if I just like halved the time. Yeah. All right. Okay. How come it's not doing it? That's middle mouse. I see if I now move out of it, it removes it. What's the point of locking it in place? I guess that's the way they got to get rid of it. I got a small boost in health. I'm really excited to actually see this gameplay. All right, okay, tutorial. I'm, I'm, I'm interested, but I'm not that interested. All right, characters also have traits, which also affect skills. Well, okay, blah, blah, blah. Some traits tell you about a character's personality, like fickle, calm, or generous. Other traits are specific to how characters live, such as your education trait or commander traits. You are temperate, wrathful. And impatient. What does dread do for me? Dread is a measure of how feared a ruler is. Rulers increase dread by performing cruel and heinous acts, such as torturing and executing prisoners. Dread makes it viable to play as a tyrant, because unruly vassals can become intimidated or terrified, making them too scared to oppose you. Oh no! Wrathful. Dread. Intimidated. Characters who greatly fear another character are intimidated. Intimidated characters are less likely to initiate a hostile action against a character. What's terrified do? Terrified characters are paralyzed by fear. Ah, nice. Yeah. All right. Character typically lives a modest life, but expects others to do also and is quick to anger when they don't. As I am temperate, wrathful, impatient, skilled tactician, and a holy warrior. Burning with righteous fervor, Murchad will not rest until all heathens are defeated. That is a um, a modest life, huh? All right, I mean, perspective, I guess, sure. Oh, what was this? When a character chooses to behave against their personality, it can cause stress. Huh, cool. You're incentivized to RP the character traits you've chosen. That's kind of neat. Hey, Billy. Okay, some people are impressed by Brave, while well, lustful character is more likely to feature a salacious gossip. Lustful do. Intrigue, plus two. Fertility, 25%. Seduction, scheme power. Opposite of chaste. Sinful to Catholics. Minus one piety. All right, this is gonna be fun. All characters. Have an option. One, have an opinion, excuse me, of one another, which drives their behavior, okay. All right. We need gold. He doesn't need gold. All right.
Prestige shows us how respected. All right, I just want to start. I'm ready to start. All right, tutorial. I mean, the tutorial is explaining a lot of things, and they're probably very important, but I actually want to see what the gameplay looks like. Piety. I understand. What kind of lifestyle? But okay, I suppose you pick a lifestyle. There are five lifestyles. Perks represent you practicing developing yourself over time and offer unique bonuses or unlocks lifestyle specific mechanics such as the ability to start abduction schemes. Okay. The link. This I relate. As an example of strategy authority. As an example, the strategy authority as well as the chivalry focus all give martial experience, which can be used to buy any of the martial lifestyle perks. The perk trees in turn lead to different lifestyle traits. Ah, choose a focus. Diplomacy, focusing on understanding people and their motives, how to handle other realms, and how to win the unwavering loyalty of your subjects. Sounds good. Marshall, focus on control of your realm, honorable conduct, and strategies that will win you wars. Okay. How's of your martial education gain 30% more? Okay, so that seems like the one we're incentivized to take. Stewardship, focus on dealing justice, administering lands, feeling okay. Intrigue, can't read this because the stupid tooltip's in the way. Um, focus on manipulation of people, the nature of secrets, and cunning plots that will bring your plans to fruition. Focus on learning all that you can. The realm of knowledge and divinity lie within your grasp as well as the secrets to life. Something happened that I had to rent an office. Uh, yeah, on um, August the 11th, a huge storm came through Iowa. Galgan basically wrecked the whole town, kind of the, the, the whole city that I'm in. And I haven't had internet since then at my home. Prior to that, we were also dealing with uh, shitty internet, so... God alone knows what it'll be like now. So. Uh, so at the moment, I am I have power restored to my house, but it's been a month and I still don't have internet. So. Yeah, Galga is one of the first subs to the channel. Yep. I think the first icon there is the first 10 subs, right? He maintains he was number one, and he might have been. Alright, so let's say we chose the Marshall lifestyle. Can name my children and dogs? Amazing. Do my dogs have like a separate dynasty? Can it be like King Wolf? And like I just like track the, the ancestry and like the Duchess of the Kennels or something like that? I think it's gotta be it's gotta be a lot. It's gotta be a, a thing we do. Alright. Lifestyle focus. Strategy focus. Fuck can win a duel, a fool can win a battle, it takes more to win a war. Authority focus. All right, all right, all right. Dread gain control. Okay, so this shit has trees, and these trees are lots of options. Amazing. I have to choose a focus. All right. Um, victory comes not through blood or gold, but honor. Prowess. Attraction. Attraction is a type of opinion that only affects characters whose sexual orientation matches your gender. For example, a homosexual man would experience this opinion towards other men. An asexual character would not experience it towards anyone. And a heterosexual woman would experience it towards men. The type of opinion stops having an effect for women above 50 years of age and for men above 65 years of age. Yes, that seems totally based in reality. Men after 65 are no longer no longer swayed by attractive women. Good point. All right. Battle advantage. I, want, I mean, I want to play a Dread Focus, but I don't care about the tutorial, so whatever. What, does it matter which of these we pick? This has more stats. What does this one do? Martial skill. How good a character is at waging war and lead battles? All right, let's assume that I want to strategy focus this. All right, other characters. Now, having selected a focus, you can move on to people. If you're new to the game, interacting with other characters in key, and you have many options to do so. You can right-click on character portrait, including your own, to list of potential interactions. Open my character view. Right-click on your heirs portrait to see the character. Okay. My heir's portrait. I click on your heir's portrait to see if the interaction is available. Arrange marriage. Find spouse. Name is Brian Brian. I mean, <laughs> I guess. I guess you could technically name your son Brian Brian. Sure. We like to educate him. How old is he? Can murder him? So what if he's my child? I can't murder my child? What kind of fucking society is this? My son and heir. He is an irrational lackey. See, look, he's setting himself up for murder. I 
Heterosexual. My heir. It's unmarried. He's in Thalman. Name is Brian, son of Merchant Brian. Okay. Of House Brian. Good God. Okay. Yeah, see? People in chat have just murdered all their children themselves. Oh, what did I just do? Uh oh. Okay, we just undid uh, whatever we did. Anyways, I may have clicked on him. This might be relations from his perspective. Looks like it is. Okay. All right. So we want to try to use and confirm the send gift interaction with your heir. Send a lavish gift, the bastard. I guess he's not a bastard if he's my son. Send a lavish gift to the son of a bitch. That would work, right? Okay. Send 50 bucks. Uh, we're just checking out the tutorial right now, right? We'll get further into this in a minute. Well done! You've successfully increased somebody's opinion of me. Amazing. Certain opinion modifiers last forever like family bonds. Others will wane over time. If you hover your cursor over the opinion number on another character, you can see exactly where the various numbers are coming from. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Tutorial. Let's talk about your dynasty. As the game goes on, unless your character meets with an untimely accident or terrible disease, they will grow old and eventually die. Okay. As long as you have heirs to your dynasty, your legacy will live on. When your character dies, you simply start playing a new one, the player heir. Depending on the type of succession your realm has, this is likely to be one of your children, perhaps one groomed into the role of ruler. Your dynasty has its own coat of arms. Mm -hmm. Level of splendor insignificant. Disgusting. This looks like so much information. This can be so cool. All right, I wonder how. Okay, chat. You said this game is good, right? Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. If I invest some time into figuring out what the fuck is going on, I'm gonna have fun with this. The session allows terminal titles and resources are divided. You currently only have one heir. Let's take a look, anyways. In some cases, when you take over your new character, you may even find they're responsible for the untimely demise of your previous ruler. Ah, oh, nice. Open the realm view. The right side of the screen highlighted. Okay. All right, head is in the way. So is this guy always floating there? We'll find out where to put this in a minute. Okay. We'll have to figure out how we divide our time for, anyways. All right, let's see, open the realm, inspect the secession tab. Secession. Confederate partition. All children inherit equally, that's a dumb law. Gender law, male preference. Okay. Can I change this to? Better. I like six options when I. Multiple heirs. Pass female geniture. Oldest child inherits all your titles. I mean, that's pretty useful. Ultimo geniture. Youngest child inherits. No, that'd be dumb. Oldest member of your house, okay. Multiple heirs. Confederate partition. I don't want to divide all my titles equally among stupid children. That's a dumb idea. Not gonna work. That's not sustainable. Alright. Alright. Let's move on. Help and okay. family members. Alright. All right, all right, I'm tired of this tutorial. Am I close to the end of this tutorial chat? Like, for unmarried character in Jermaine, you can set up marriages. Close to unpausing. Over halfway, 60%, oh, we've done it. This chair is super fucking uncomfortable. All right, two options behave as for unmarried characters, you can set up marriages by right click on the character and choosing Find Spouse or Arrange Marriage. Right click on your own character. Select Find Spouse. Alright. We fired up our, our phone. We'll look at the app. What do we find? Okay. Uh. 
Uh, any factors consider when choosing a spouse, presumably their stats. To help you out, there's a film filter available for sorting. Among things are alliances, skills, personality traits, expected fertility, and more. Oh my god. Okay, I mean, can't we just do like a questionnaire of some sort? Apparently not. Hit your character button in the character just setting I was getting right And change your selection. Okay. We want to search for something. Do we care about fertility? No. Well, yes, we do. Okay, we want them capable of bearing. We would like them healthy. We would like them don't care. Don't care. Inheritable traits. At least one good inheritable trait. Done. Um, politics. Not relevant. Adult. Okay. Go with adult for now. Age difference. It's fine. Maximum age. I think we want to... Oh, we have an heir. I was thinking we needed a woman of childbearing age, but maybe we don't care. Also, do we need fertile then? Probably not. Maybe we don't want that. Maybe we want infertile. And we don't care about... How can you have... How are these not mutually exclusive? How can you have an infertile inheritable trait? You have returned. Anti-Condor, thank you for the resub. You married a witch and it didn't go well? Unfortunate. Okay. So what am I seeing here? Is this our age difference? No, it's their opinion of me. She's 32. How old are we? Let's assume we're... Alright, whatever. Okay. Okay. Our goal is to get married here. I have no idea how old we are. I hovered over 39, okay. So this is infertile. Do we want infertile? I don't know. Ryan dies, you have no heir. This is a tutorial. Presumably, ideally, I want the tutorial to end. All right, chat recommends against it, so I'm going with it. Some proposal. Use a hook. Hook is a general term for a relationship between characters where one can get the other to do their will. There are two types, weak hook and strong hooks. Jesus, that's amazing. We can get essentially blackmail material. No, I'm not, they're not. We lose 300 bucks. How can we, how can the change be not equal here? Yeah. Ah, sweet. Union blessed. She's a lowborn. Yeah, I'm just trying to get through the tutorial. We're going to actually start a game. All right. Most titles are structured together in a pyramid-like fashion using title tier. County, duchy, kingdom, empire. Okay. Change the duchy titles map mode. Okay. Return to the realms map mode. Thank God for that. All right. Well, she's no longer a lowborn. She's now your ruler, chat. Bastion and curtain walls. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Can I build multiple buildings at the same time? Did I update my stream tag? I did, okay. Every holding provides taxes to their holder. If the holder is vassal, they'll also pay taxes to their liege. Okay. Alright. Alright, tutorial. This is good, but it's too much at once. As a ruler, you're likely to be a liege of at least one vessel, blah blah blah. Okay. Open the realm be okay. We might be done with this soon. List of my current vassals. Wish to execute him. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right, I'm 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 tired of this. All right, I I might be done with the tutorial. Let's hope there's nothing important in the end of the tutorial. All right. Managing a realm is a lot of work. It really helps your council, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Petty Queen Christine. All right. Powerful vassal is expected to be chosen. We'll be unhappy if left out. I understand. What is this shit? Teams are long-term goals. Okay. Yeah. Intrigue view. Teams. Uh, it seems like bad secrecy. Okay. Good time to use a scheme might be when you find the line of secession not being as clear as you'd like. One way to get ahead is simply remove the competition. Huh. Murder schemes come with the risk of discovery. If your temp goes awry, it will make your character unpopular, especially with your target. The Sway Scheme is made for increasing the opinion of someone as your character. Let's try it. Open the council view. View highlighted. Sure. Right click on the court chaplain, your bishop. Like Sway. Imprison. Okay. On average, 19 months. Is there a limit to the number of schemes I can have open at once, chat? Why would I not always be scheming to make people like me more? Where's my murder scheme? I, I probably reset my murder scheme but do this one. Oh, this is a friendly scheme, huh? Where's my? I, I'm surprised my murder scheme isn't here yet. I have no hooks. Oh, you can blackmail them. A hook. Ah, oh, dude, this sounds great. We cooks can be used for a number of things. Oh, fuck, I hate this interface. It's probably great once I get into it, but I'm just I'm I'm so tired of this tutorial. Okay, all right, I. I Every time I look at this, I'm like, this sounds important. All right, wars is such a part of Crusader Kings, blah, blah, blah. All right. Soldiers, armies, mercenaries. Open the military view, great. Uh, before the war is over, raise your armies with raise all armies. The war is over, you have to disband your soldiers before starting another war. Rally points are mustering grounds for levies, men arms under your command. Or worry any legitimate reason. Okay. Is 
Tim, we got to let you unpause the game. Jesus, tutorial writer. K3, angered, filthy robot, lowering his opinion of it by 50. Declare war on this dude. All right, so go here. We interact with him in some way, apparently. We just declare war from here. How do I know I have a CB on him, though? Line of secession, sure, but where do I see that I have a CB? He's a tough soldier, he's a reaver. I have a CB because the, the war option is available. You no. have returned. I like CK3. Hope you enjoy it with all its quirks. Thanks, Undrich. The resub and the thought. All right. Choose a CB. I'd like to seize the earldom. Because we presumably we fabricated a claim. If you enforce your demands. Enforce demands. Cost me a hundred crowns. Hundred prestige. Okay. You successfully declared a war. Next, you should rally your armies. A button has appeared at the bottom of your screen to help you. Okay. Whenever you, wherever you rally, in this case, my area. Okay. Raise all armies. But I said I had to leave it for a couple days. We got six dudes right now. I don't know how many total dudes we had. It wasn't much more than six. Oh, yes, it was. 604 levies and six knights. Okay. Where do I see if I'm paused or not? Pause at the top of the screen. Okay. Is this getting bigger? No, oh, they're all there. All right. Right. Go bring the army in. Now that your army is moving, you're probably leading. It's probably heading into battle with enemy forces. This can be a head-on encounter with other armies or start a siege. Okay. Do we have a leader on this? Yeah. What's the movement command going? The outcome of a battle depends on a number of things. The number of levies, men at arms, and commanders. Okay. More details we gleam. Combat view, click on your army to open it. Uh, that's not my army. How do I click on my army? No idea. Elite quality, seven knights to six knights. We have a bunch more of these shitters than they have. No men at arms. Our current role is four. Commander advantage, 27. Okay. 
So presumably each of these rolls is going to result in people dying. What does this thing mean? Late battle phase. Okay. You can't retreat. This is like um, U4. Your army is attacking enemy holding. Click on the highlighted icon. The spearheads to find how it's going. You need to win sieges to win most wars. They increase your war score. Whenever siege is won, it takes a few rounds of attacks. Area will become occupied. Changing it from a regular look on the map to a striped one. Okay. Thank God we played some C uh, U4. All right. Get an idea of who's winning in a war. You can always look at the war score in the lower right-hand corner. We're at 17% right now. Okay. Victory, white piece, or defeat. All right. I don't understand where he's moving to because this looks like a single province. Can we chase him? Oh, there's sub sub locations in this area. Okay. Change map view. What? Okay. Zoom. I guess I want to wipe his army out. I guess. The moment we're chasing him around the province, oh, we caught him. Okay. These, your routed casualties, okay. Your war score is at 100. No, it says 77, it says plus 77 right there. I guess that was just our goal, 77 out of 77. No, definitely isn't. All right, enforce demands. Okay. Will not accept. We gotta beat him up some more. Okay. Fine, I can beat him up some more. I don't mind killing all of his troops repeatedly. He's great. Also, can I siege this location? Sorry, I was drunk. Yeah. Wait, I thought I, I thought my wife was infertile. There we go. Let's, let's check that out. How do I find that out? Realm, military, council, court, intrigue. Where are my people? Your wife. She's chaste, temperate, humble. Misguided. A, new a reaver. Viper arrives. It fills you with determination. Bad humors plague her. Okay. You K N G Koopa for the sub. Is a mannequin? I don't think so. What does it mean prowess minus two? Hmm. She's less powerful as a warrior when she's pregnant. Good to know. I don't, I don't know. I guess infertile is just like relatively infertile as opposed to truly infertile. Yeah. I'm going to go siege the shit out of this capital in a moment too. Kill. Kill, maim, murder. Excellent. Oh wait, this may not be excellent. My knight has been wounded and his flesh has contracted foulness and swelling. He's also pregnant. And the right kind of treatment is administered. Jesus is merciful. He should make it. Okay. What are you telling me in this? Right? Can we do things to him? No. Hmm.
All right. Get him to convert while he's uh while he's fucked. Bam. I converted to Catholicism. All right. This guy's running again. Do I just have to? What am I at? I'm at 86%. How do I siege this dumb shit? Besieging. Am I besieging? Split in half, split off new army. That guy's running away, presumably. Oh, he's gone to sea. I lost too many dudes. The siege? Does it tell me where I need the siege amount? Look at the siege view. Uh huh. Monthly attrition, sure. Supplies, merge armies, reorganize. Siege will not progress because the besieging armor is smaller than the garrison. Rip. Okay. All right, so I gotta go murder him again. We don't move partially, like this doesn't move to a different location along the way, that's awkward. Oh, it does. Yeah, I know he's in my lands, I'm gonna go burn him. I'm gonna go burn him with fire. Oh, we got him, okay. He is slain. We can't siege his capital, but we have 100%, so I guess we just take it. Alright. Enforce demands. Okay! Become a vassal. Yeah. How do I see him now? Vassals. Minus 90. Patient, ambitious, impatient again. Can I give you a suggestion? It's too early for suggestions. We're in the tutorial. Give me interface suggestions. The only thing you can give me right now. Once we're playing the game, you can do things like that. I'm just trying to finish this fucking tutorial. All right. Do we want to do this chat today? Fuck this chair, it's so uncomfortable. Alright, alright, alright. Zoom out and check the whole world. Assume you have to conquer every territory every single time. Big world. Why can I not move around? Why can I not, for example, scroll right right now? Diplomacy skill helps people like you. Your wife can buff your skills. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's funny. Big world. Okay. Uh. Save game, load game, exit game. Exit game, actually exit game. Exit the main menu. All right. New game. Are there difficulty level settings in the game chat or is it just kind of where you start from is difficult? Oh, it's down the bottom. Difficulty setting right there. 
Okay, normal is the highest. Do I have to beat it on normal? may want to remove nudity. You mean remove clothing? I don't think I can remove clothing here. I'm not at home. I'm at a communal office now, so it's harder to do that. Yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna really put a put a damper on my OnlyFans page. Ivar the Boneless. Half Dan White Shirt. Dude, what a name. Half Dan White Shirt. Ivar is weak of body. An 870. Jorn Ironside. Pillaged. Bottom left, I can play as literally anyone. No, I'm happy to select one of the ones I've started with. I have no, I have no, I'm not, I'm not making decisions here. I'm just reading tooltips at the moment. All right, chat. I am, uh, Are these children? Why are they all children on this one? Let's do this one. One of the ones in here. Duke of the Isles. Sure. Yeah, we've got two sons. Sure. Where is this nudity setting? Who knows? Where are we? Issues. You've not cast your vote for the heir. You have no lifestyle. Your heir is unmarried. You're above your domain limit. Hmm. Expect me to be streaming so early? How's uh, so quickly? How's the new place? Pretty miserable. Ah, <sighs> chat. All right. all right, all right, all right. Let's figure this shit out. I guess. Where are we? What can I find? Okay, so I want to find my dude, and this is what we own. We own a little bit over there and a bunch of stuff in here. Ambitious callous. Vengeful. Brilliant strategist. Reaver. Blade master. One legged. Viking. Overseer. Control growth factor. What does that mean?
When a country changes hands through war, control goes down drastically, which is a good reason to vassalize the current holder instead. Okay. Like my dream having so many tooltips? It's certainly uh, a lot to look at. Prowess is 19. Intrigue is 20. Our Marshal is 20. A new subscriber arrives. Oration IV 85. Thanks for the sub. I hate this room chat. Okay. Uh, what are we doing then? How do I see like ongoing wars? Military, perhaps? Current men at arms regiment. You can have up to four. Special soldiers. My council. I want to start a. I want a more basic start than this. This is more than I want to deal with right now. So, chat, give me a pretty basic start. Like, I don't want to be involved in six wars and have 20 holdings. I just really kind of want one holding to start with. Or should I start with that? Ireland 1066. Wessex and 800. How do I do Wessex and 800? Duke of Munster is fine. King of Scotland, King of Norway. Okay, where do I find the Normandy, England? This guy here? Okay. Alright. Petty King Rashad. All right, how many issues? Only four issues instead of 11. That's good. All right, no lifestyle chosen. Aaron married. You're not married. We are 39. We have one child and three siblings beneath us. These are our parents and grandparents, secondary spouses. Okay. We are temperate, wrathful, impatient, open terrain expert, farmlands, plains, and steppe. How do I find where the terrain is? Wetlands, wetlands, plains, plains, forest. Okay. This is the one we did the tutorial in. I'm insular and can have multiple wives. Okay. A rural church that drifted away from the Roman Catholic Orthodoxy some centuries ago. Insular Christianity has lost many of its once distinctive features at the insistence of its mother church, yet retains a greater emphasis on penance and monasticism and incorporates many traditional Celtic marriage customs foreign to wider Christendom. K is terrain mode. All right, I can't decide. I don't know, chat. We're, we're definitely checking this out today, but I don't, I don't know how, how deep I want to go with this. All right, so what am I looking at? Like, when I look at this, like, what are my goals? Like, all right, our, our first goal is, of course, to conquer this fucking area, starting with Desmond, because fuck Desmond. All right, how do I see Desmond? How do I see my claims? Realm, military, council, court, intrigue, factions, decisions, one claim. Kingdom of Ireland. E to I is map modes. Yeah, don't worry about that at the moment. All right. So they want me to do four things before I'm pausing. Get married. Get my heir married. 
How old is my heir? I have one child and he is 18. All right, so this is the tutorial again. This is our start location, huh? Okay. All right, I, I'm fine with Marshall. And I think we're gonna be doing stuff. What is this shit? As I gain experience, I get to assign points in these, presumably. CB cost. Strategy. So this is this one, right? This is locked. I have a lot to be, alloc be allocated where? Where do you see that? These have been taken because they're clicked in. So I basically have this whole thing finished. Okay, well, we'll continue with that then. It's already selected, right? So I don't need to select shit? No, it says no focus. If I have no focus, does it just apply to all of them? One of the three on the left. Focus is independent from perks on the right. Focus is just the stat point, okay. Are these always, so I was thinking that each one of these corresponded to one of these trees, but you guys are telling me it's not. You're telling me it's independent. So what is the point of, A, does this one always fill in like this or do I choose? Can I do a little bit of this one, a little bit of this one, a little bit of this one if I were so so inclined? Oh shit, you moved again and also you're a king now. Yeah, Galvia. Uh, that goes that goes without saying in Iowa that I am in fact king, yep. yep. Thanks for the reset, man. How's life? Okay. Focusing on Chivalry Grant's prowess. You can pick and choose as you want because your ruler is older. He has pre-assigned ones. All right. King of Iowa. That's correct. Population, me. I'm the king of this this room here. Although I have to pay rent for the room. So it's, it's, it's a title without a lot of meaning. All right. What are characters at waging war and leading armies? All right, so I want to see this guy here then. Go back. Go back! Cancel. You can reset your perks once, but you gain 100 stress. A business in it. I'm renting an office right now, Galvia. Yep. So I am in some weird fucking space. Dealing with that, because I still don't have internet more than a... It, August 11th is when I lost internet and have is not returned yet. Spent four weeks at my in-laws and now I'm uh, back in Cedar Rapids. All right, so what does he have for dread? What do I see the rest of his? Okay, so natural dread plus 20. Doesn't this, isn't this a stat? Yeah, so where do I actually see that? All right, chat. Red is the gauntlet icon next to gold here. Okay. Siege, piety, milt. Okay. Okay. We're zero dread. We're not naturally very dreadful. We're, of course, going to play the fucking evilest bastard we can, but we probably need to do, like, next generation for that, right? Good, good, good. All right, anyway, so we're still changing, still deciding what we're getting with that. So we're going to go for this. Red decays over time. Yeah, amateurs. That's fine. All right, so I don't really know that dread helps us very much right now. Control growth. Control growth seems like it's going to be good. If we're going to be taking over a bunch of shit, though. Uh, chivalry focus. Gain attraction. What is this advantage plus five? This is like fighting advantage, right? I mean, that seems pretty useful to us. 
Prowess is individual. Prowess is a secondary skill that reflects the character's aptitude in personal combat. High prowess skills are more likely to survive and perform well as knights in battles and in duels. Each point of prowess gives a knight 100 damage. My dude is base 2 prowess. Like, where is that? It's in here somewhere? Yeah, I assumed that this guy was going to be leading armies. I, I played a very small amount of CK2. Very small amount. But like, I read this tooltip, which is fine. Martial skill indicates how good a character is at waging war and leading armies in battles. How is that different than advantage? It's just like, I'm more on the organizational side, like I get more types of things, like knights and fucking archers and shit. Possibly. Advantage is the modifier that results from martial. Alright, let's assume we're chivalrous, and then we can roleplay the sun rebelling. Perfect. Alright, done. Alright, what next? My heir is unmarried, and we're not married. We probably want to get back up. Back up children. In case our first ones get deleted. Uh, Alright, so we're going to search. Toggle filters. What are we? Who are we marrying? Uh, we want them to be fertile, and healthy, and we care past that. No. Okay. Inheritable traits. We already have a son. I don't know how likely he is to die. Let's assume we want a positive inheritable trait. All right. We could potentially get an alliance with the county of Vizcaya. I don't know where the fuck that is. I'm learning stupid uh, geography again. All right. Uh, do her through the wife stats just add directly? Click on it. Well, I don't want to go all the way over there. Out. Oh! What else could we do? I mean, it seems like it's nice to have an alliance. She's quick. Just change the gestation period. Just passionate mom. Um. Lazy, sadistic. And greedy. Okay. Intelligent, quick. So this is the is this the trait that gets is plus she's eight prowess. Sadistic wife for sadistic children. Does it work that way? So presumably intelligence comes through. Just like plus three to everything seems great. Congenital is pass through, right? Yeah. Through proper breeding. Are we what are, what are, what traits do we have? Where are we? Commander trait, education trait, personality, personality. We don't have any heritable uh, stuff. All right, robust, male, quick again, only. Does this mean unattractive? Apparently not. I'll have to have a word with my mother at some point. All right, pretty, male, Amazonian. All right, I just want to search this. Can I search by a specific trait? No. All 
What's homely is good, comely is bad. Or the other way around another. Our top right. Oh, I see. Question. In search field. Well, I mean, that narrows it down, doesn't it? We're marrying lazy, greedy, sadistic. What do these bonuses do? Minus one to everything. Stress loss. <laughs> sadistic. Natural dread. General opinion. And use hostile schemes against our own children. Sinful to Catholics. Okay. And greedy. What was you look for? What was it? Uh, genius. There's no genius women around. In, oh, it's both. In our current area. We'd have to travel further. Which doesn't seem worth it. Alright. I mean, it's 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 a match made in heaven, so... We're, we're going for this. Alright, you! I wish to marry you. She will accept. Children of the marriage will be born into our house, which is what I want. Inheritable trait is intelligent. We gotta knock her up pretty quick here. Alright. Uh, matrilineal marriage. Fuck no. Use a hook we don't need. Send proposal. Done. Okay. He's 34. Don't need many kids. Need the one. Alright, what issues do we have? Not endorsed by my bishop. Can declare war. Family members can get married. Alright, I want to leave these issues up, so presumably it will. More kids is bad. I, I don't I, I need time to explore the game before I get told what the fuck. Tell me how to do things if I ask the question, but please don't tell me what to do at the moment because I'm trying to figure out what the game is about right now. Should marry my heir. I don't think I can marry my heir. I think that's incestuous. Um, where do we want to go from here? I wanted to look at something. Issues wise, I wanted to see. Okay, let's go up here. I wanted to see the council. That's what it was. All right. Have no available spouse, presumably we will. This guy doesn't like us. You can have a positive scheme going. Why do we want the fucking bishop to we want the bishop to do what now? He's not providing me any levies. He doesn't like me. Honorable empath. You. Sway him. Sixty percent. Two years. How quickly are years? All right. Can we do any negative? So this is our council. Presumably, we elected him there. A year is three hundred sixty-five days. Thank you, Chad. That's extremely helpful. What else can these guys do? Alright. We're here. We have okay, two titles. So can I just declare war on these people? Where do I see relative military strength? Military probably? F3. This is my military. I mean, the thing is I just played the tutorial which told me I could crush these people. Click on them. Alright, they are... They have 139 levies. Fifty-five, eighty-four. Can't be right. Look on the face, this is them. Military strength is similar to ours. If I were to declare war on him, and I wanted to seize this, cost me 50 prestige. And chat told me I'd see it here. He has 230. How do I see his alliances? I want to go back. You. You. 
would tell me there. I see it on here. He is impatient, cynical, and lazy. Well, I'm taking his land. There's probably a reason to have land. Alright, so can I build shit? I can build shit in my land, right? Does the one mean we have it? Must. Well, I've got 31 bucks. I can't construct shit. Okay. Alright. So this is its tax. It's levies. Does red mean I'm not getting it right now? Is this owned by that bishop bastard who's not paying me shit? Remember the... He just doesn't pay taxes because he doesn't like me? That's convenient. Yeah, I can't afford any of these right now. Where am I? My knight, my knight, my half brother, marshal and knight, your steward. Got her other knight there. Your son, your knight. These are available knights then. You do not want to be a knight. That's not what I asked. I don't want to ask at all. Can I raise levies from here? Unraised. Sure, but how do I make more of them? No, I want my heir to become a knight because I'm trying to get him killed off. We should... What was it? How did I do this again? It was... Your steward, vassal, your half-brother, your knight, your son. Yes. Yes! Yeah. Yep. He will become the best knight shortly. He will die in a surge of glory. Alright. So I don't know from here how I add. Oh. What does this do? That's my rally point. So, but someone was telling me I could build more armies there, and I don't see how to do that there. It's up there now, that's for sure. Yeah. So I can call my armies, presumably. I was trying to build more armies, but it didn't look like I could. Raise all armies. Great. Okay, and then we're going to declare war on Desmond, because why not? I want land. Let's see what taking over land does. Okay. You. Uh. Wait. I have to declare before raising armies? That's dumb. Alright, just kidding about raising those armies. Right. Can't declare wars with armies out. Yes, Chad. That makes entire... That's, that's historical, right? Because most times when I declare war on my neighbor as a historical country, I wait until after declaring war to raise my armies or make any preparation, right? That's, in, that's extremely intuitive. Now we have to raise our armies. Okay. Alright, anything else we could be doing? We don't have shit for money. I couldn't build any buildings. I guess I could be marrying my heir off. We have siblings too. Is there some benefit in uh, marrying siblings off? Alliances. I don't want an alliance. More complication than I want right now. Okay. All right. How do I know when I'm fully raised? 314, 308. 
Okay, this is Max. Alright, let's go attack here. I need alliances. I don't need anything. Let's just play through one. We can do whatever the fuck we want. Alright, greetings so-and-so. I gladly accept your hand in marriage. Eh, excellent. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, the stuff's in the way. Um, okay. No, not that one. Back. No. Right, I don't know where we're putting things quite yet. So, let's just move it over here for now. Sure that will block something in about one second. Alright. Uh... Alright, so we now have she on the council because she's wife. Is this her? She's an evil ravener. Sounds like my wife. Yes. Okay. Click to choose to okay, so she can give me Port Intrigue or military. Seems like Marshall right now is gonna be good, right? I'm just going to war. So I don't know what the fuck that's doing, but Presumably, levy size plus 30% levy reinforcement. So if I can change that around, can I just change that? We get 12% levy size. Sure. Can I change that whenever I want? I'm also in the way a bit. Yeah, I think that's going to be the case in for some time. I mean, at the moment, this guy pops up in the pop top left. And the bottom right. Bottom left, too, rather. Excuse me. You could try moving down there. I'll try to strike a, a pose like this. Yes. There we go. Yeah, it's just I have no, no idea what we need yet. No boo for stuff here. Yeah. Exactly. I will be role-playing the king. And I will, um, I will let the office staff here know that I would like to be referred to as King Filthy while I am playing this game. And they can check my, uh, they can check my, what my stream title is to see what I'm playing, presumably. Okay. So, do I have full levies now then? Probably don't, right? Don't I have 30% more levies? Does it take a while to come into effect? Like... I make sounds and moans when my in my character gets injured. No, but depending on the nudity, perhaps I could oblige. Yeah. What's going on with this fight? 85, 15, elite knights. So what's going on here? I want to see the stats. We're the attacker. We have... Alright, we're fighting in some dumb locale. We have five knights, we have six, we have slightly more men, but not a lot. Where do I see the location that we're in? We're in wetlands, so we don't get any benefits from that. Okay. Thank you, Elhoyer. Three months. Must be nice to be back home, and I hope the office is nice. Outliving a child with the death of Brian. Your brother is your new heir. Brian has been murdered. Was slain in battle. Gain 35 stress. Yeah. Alright, well, we just gotta make sure we murder them in return. Yeah. Alright, enemy combatants captured. You, your forces captured the son of the so and so. Okay, what can I do with a captured son? Hmm. We lost Brian. Alright, I like the idea of ransoming him. Where do I find that option? Court prison. You 
prisoners. Got two other guys. Ransom. That's us, the prisoner. That's a recipient. Pays 10 to me. Can we change 10? I mean, children are not worth a lot in general, but particularly prior to them surviving to adulthood. Hmm. And is max for him. That's fine. Okay, and then what can we do about this guy? Well, that is that guy. That guy cannot be ransomed. Who is it? I don't, I don't know. How do I know why he's in prison, chat? In house arrest. I arrested them both in battle. Ah. But who is he? Is he just some fucking slub? Just a random slub. Got him to view relations. Okay. So he's a slub. You're a prisoner. He's an analytic lackey. Got two children, but I don't. I'm not sure. Where does this tell me who the fuck he is? He's just nobody. Upright jailer and liege. Oh, I'm his liege, and I'm his jailer. Oh, I'm not an earl. This is another guy with a very similar name. God damn it! I hate writers who do this. This is probably historically accurate in some way, so I can't blame Paradox for this. I hate writers who use the same first letters, especially the first couple letters of a name. Drives me nuts. Yeah. His liege is my enemy. Dude, we're attacking with someone with similar names, huh? Yeah. That makes sense. I'm his jailer. That's okay. Uh, is there a reason to release him? Like, he has no land? Probably not, right? Can't just execute him. Doesn't give me a menu. Gains 10 bread. I have to spend 100 piety to execute somebody? Eh. You know, we cook. Take the vows. Recruit. Might be a knight, right? Yeah. Only seven prowess. Though. How do you see that? It's over here. This prowess kind of sucks. You can recruit and get the hook. Oh, these are not mutually exclusive. Nice. Alright. Alright, two things done. Decisions made. Alright, so is it better to siege this? So if we wanted to siege this location... Uh, not enough soldiers. We're not sieging. So we gotta win this war by chasing down the army and killing it, presumably. Okay. Alright. Ah, excellent. Excellent. 
Excellent. Plus 10 bucks. All right, we jumped them again. Reached down a couple knights. All right, took his forces, won the war. Someone told me to go home, but they clearly didn't know what they were talking about. All right. How do I tell if I... Aren't I supposed to be paused right now? Yeah, I'm paused right now. No, I'm not paused. Yeah. All right, prisoner released, allied combatants slain, enemy combatants captured, enemy combatants captured. We capture I think we captured the same guy again. No. Another son, maybe? Okay. Let's take a look at our captives here. Two prisoners. Do we ransom him and then demand peace? Get another twenty three here. Don't release prisoners till after the war. Well, presumably after the war, this guy's not going to exist anymore, right? Like, how is he going to pay me 23 bucks if he doesn't have a kingdom post-war? I'm like, hey, give me your kingdom. And he's like, sure. Here's your king. Here's my kingdom. And I'm like, great. And then I'm like, now give me 23 bucks. He's like, ah. Uh. Right, chat, chat wants me to do something else. Let's take a look. So if I were to do that, which seems... What's the war score? War score. If I hover war scare, war score. Captured air plus 50%. All right. I think we'll take that then. Good call, Chet. If you piece out the war, you release his air since it contributes to the war score. Who's the other guy we captured then? Can we do anything with him? Where did my menu go? Who's this guy? Unlanded. Or just some random trash knight? Like a trash knight. I need 100% to enforce demands? I should read my military traits, huh? Uh, where are my traits? Presumably here? No, it's lifestyle. Realm, court, factions, intrigue, decisions. There it is. Alright, we have CB cost. Toughness for a bunch of shit. Movement speed. Naval speed. Siege weapon effectiveness. Raid speed. Supply capacity. Hit and run. Envelopment. Sappers. Okay. Peacemaker under the gallant. So you're th saying they're not going to accept this if we enforce this piece? Enforce demands. Will not accept. <laughs> Okay. So then what? We go back, recruit people, and then resiege? So how do I uh, repair my people, chat? And do I know what I need to siege? Can we see that from here? Okay, so we pause here, take a look at this. What do I actually need? Military strength, 16 soldiers. What does it tell me where the fuck I need to siege this? Garrison sides of the barony. Sure. It says levies 240, but I don't see a... Garrison size 456. I need at least 456 to do that. Okay. But I, I don't even think... I don't, I don't think I'm anywhere near able to get 456. Yeah. Someone said something about dismissing then recalling levies.
What do I see in my schemes? Intrigue. Personal schemes. Hostile schemes. Can I get claims? Fight his army? Isn't his army gone already? Didn't we kill his army? Yeah. Alright, chat. Show me what a good hostile scheme would be right now. We got the one guy killed, right? We have a hook on this guy. Disband. Why would I disband right now? Just not to pay them? Murder my wife seems pretty stupid. This is not going up, huh? There's no like timing in the war. You're saying there's no timing? I don't control the war goal. Alright. So if I were to then rally people again. Thank you, Kex. That's super helpful, actually. Iron Man at Arms. I don't think I can afford it. Well, we can now. We have exactly 50. Is there a one time cost or is there an upkeep as well? Mercs are very expensive. All right, so it's about a sixth of my income for that. I asked the Pope for money. I don't know. Worth? It may not be worth. I'm kind of expecting him to hire an army, so maybe we just let some time pass. All right, what are the things that we need? Three issues. All right, victory, great. Victory, great. Air unmarried. Or right, he's dead, so that's irrelevant. What are the issues? Your half brother needs marrying. Yeah. Yeah, I get that more powerful units are gonna be more powerful units, but I don't actually need more powerful units right now. I need maximum number of units, apparently, to siege the fucking location. So I don't even know if that's possible. I don't really want to. Like, I don't know. I don't really want to. I don't really want to marry my brother. Right now. There's one of my indicators saying that's going on. There's smaller places to siege. Can I siege that? And arms don't contribute to units. Only siege castles. Okay. You assassinate the enemy lord, his son inherits the land, he's in your jail, so you'd win automatically. That's an interesting approach. Can we do that? So who's this guy? Can we assassinate him? about eight years. Hmm. You get a better spy master. Your nephew and spy master. Up schemes. Support schemes. Find secrets. So. Ah. 
Yeah, we're probably doing that, Stransky. I just want to see what else my guys can do. So what else? So is this stuff that they do automatically or stuff that I have to assign them to do? Are currently all of my council unassigned for their helping? Uh, whichever is easier for you, zero altruism. Uh, Patreon remains one of the easiest ways to do it because you set it up and don't have to worry about it again. But uh, if you are a regular Twitch viewer, there's some perks associated with being a Twitch subscriber. So either man. Top two are automatic, bottom is selectable. They're all assigned. How do I know they're assigned? Old highlighted is their current assignment. I don't even see that chat. I see three things here. So he's disrupting, supporting, and finding secrets already. Small gold halo. Where? The lighted button on the left side, everyone is assigned to the top option. Okay, I think. Disrupting. So I could reassign him to do something different. I see. Oh! No. Okay. Organized levies. Sure. Foreign affairs. Siege. Like taxes, these country development. Yep. Fabricate claim on country religious relations. Yeah. All right, so we're basically just, are we just waiting? Like, is there other things to do while we're waiting? One of these three issues. We can marry off these these idiots, I guess. Um, but I want to take over their stuff. So let's say I wanted to do that. Let's say I wanted to marry off this dude here. Go to you. Yeah, I want to marry for you. All right. We would like an alliance. There's a shit ton of alliances possible here. Oh god. Right here is pretty close. It's scheme to sway his spy master. Or by alliance power, Jesus. <laughs> okay. I'm interested in that scheming stuff. 